what the heck is going on guys how's everybody today we are back with another summer's work chronicle video today we're going to be going over the million of notes that they dropped last night at 3 a.m so very first we are on the wrong one that i want to show you first sorry here we go okay galago's rune update eve special login reward event so it just says greetings uh, to celebrate Galagos Runes update um, on 0209. So that's in seven days a week. Uh, we're going to be going over that in just one minute. We're going to have a lead up event to it. So it's basically going on from today till uh, Galagos gets released. And it's essentially just a bunch of good rewards. It looks like a lot of gold here. Looks like it's going to be like a million and a half gold. Uh, some Rahul, some secret energy stuff, essence tickets, brawler room tickets, which they need to stop giving. What? Does, it says road of growth tickets. That I mean path of growth, right? I would assume path of growth. Especially since this is essence dungeon, right? Road of growth. Yeah, it's definitely path of training. Or path of adventure, or whatever the heck they call it. Path of growth. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, okay, so that's all the stuff we're getting, so that's super awesome. Now let's get into Galagos. So this is actually already live on the Korean server. Uh, I bet you uh, Storyteller probably already has a video out about it, but... Um, so if you want to check that out before we get the content, I de definitely recommend going and looking at him. Um, but it says, let's take a look at Galagos Runes, an appearance challenge that will be in updated February 9th. So, introduction. Galagos Runes is PvE content where you overcome various buffs and debuffs to clear the ruins. The battle difficulty increases as you enter deeper levels, requiring you to use various types of monsters and stra That's supposed to say strategy, right? No, this is various types of monsters strategically. Oh, I'm dumb. Sorry, guys. I can't read. I, I like easy English, okay? Galagos Runes will be available after completing Story 3 of White... Uh, Castle Quest. This is important. They have another event that you need to know this information for. Um, but you know what this reminds me of, Cheddar? Labyrinth. Yeah. So it seems like it's uh, going to be a lot like Labyrinth from Sky Arena. But... Okay, so it says here various stages are available on each floor. Uh, clear each stage to reach the boss stage of the floor. Defeat the boss to proceed to the next floor. Uh, Galagos Runes is seasonal content. The difficulty won't be changed, but the buffs and debuffs will, buffs will change every season. Therefore, it is essential to consider which monsters to use based on the active buffs and debuffs each season. So you're going to have to make sure you read whatever he's doing for that particular season or floor and make sure you use the best monsters for it. So we're definitely going to be putting out a bunch of videos about this and trying to help you guys out. Um, so it says... The next part here says select a monster to use in each season. 25 to 30 monsters can be selected before entering Galagos Runes. Use monsters strategically according to each stage. So, um, for the beginning, I'm like, very few people probably even have 25 built, right? Well, they don't have to be built. Yeah, I know, but like what I'm saying is for the first little bit, it's just going to be the 25, 30 monsters you have that are like the highest. Your strongest? Yeah. Yeah. But um, as as the time passes, and anyone who plays Sky Arena knows that in a few years, yes, in a few years, you'll be able to bring in, like, the perfect monsters. You'll know what the debuffs could be, and you'll be able to bring, like, the perfect team. But for now, probably just going to be your strongest 10, 15 guys, and then the other ones. <laughs> the Maybe other. some monsters to fill in uh, for the challenges that they want. If they force you to use uh, wind people. warriors or whatever, you're going to have to build or have them in your selected monsters. Yes, yeah, so you're going to want to try to do a wide variety of monsters with the uh, ones you have left maybe over. Maybe it depends what the conditions are. Yeah, we'll have to see on the night, right? Um, I will say I am kind of super excited for this because Labyrinth was actually one of my favorite things in Sky Arena, which is probably a little weird. But um, it was like one of the new contents that got released and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Uh, energy is consumed when clearing a stage, so monsters use up energy when they're used on each stage of Galagos. Monsters that reach zero energy cannot be used in Galagos runes anymore. So you might even have to, like, oh, that's why you need 30 guys, because slowly it's going to kill off your guys. So all your, like, weaker guys are probably going to just die right away, and then... Or not die, get, like, their energy used up. Yeah. 
Um, and then it says here, so earn trace of research that grants a beneficial effect during battle. So it says you can get a uh, trace of research that grants a beneficial effect upon clearing a stage. Explore Galago's ruins with various beneficial effects. So I'm assuming there's going to be like a talent tree type sort of deal um in it or something like that we'll have to see yeah the trades of research you'll, you'll be able to choose a buff or maybe i'll just give you a random buff or whatever to continue through the runes with mm -hmm. yeah we'll have to see seems that seems like a cool mechanic as well um and then it says uh number three here rewards uh clear rewards can be claimed upon clearing each floor clear galagos runes one to four and get a ancient galagos coins and hero and legendary green runes slash equipment um, and then it says challenge the Galagos runes for various rewards. So it's just kind of telling us at the beginning what, it, what it's going to give us, and then I think it gets better. I'm I hoping. hope they don't just give us the uh, Golden Weave set again. You know, like how they give you that from all the Spires and such, it's always that Golden Weave set. Ugh, come on, just give me a real set. <laughs> and then uh, it says you want to gather these coins, uh, and they're given to you when you complete Galagos, obviously, and you can spend them in the shop, just like how they're all their kind of uh, content is. They have, like, shops for every single content. A wide range of products. <laughs> I think they're Amazon now. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is for summoners who want to change the default appearance. Say hi to the appearance change. Appearance change will be added to Chronicles. As many summoners have requested appearance change feature. Customize your appearance. Okay, I don't really know what that means. And I don't know why they put it there, but okay. Like Transmog your weapons and your shield, because you can't transmog them. They are what they are, right? So, for me, if I build uh, the seal shield, like, it's going to be that weird purple V thing. Mm, that's Maybe probably it. let you, like, uh, transmog it into looking like the crazy-looking uh, Naraka one that, or the uh, new Twisted March one that looks like the snakes. Yeah, either way, that was a really weird thing to put on the end of this, but okay. Um, and then this, guys, uh, just going to go over super quick. So this is actually what uh, was live last night. So you guys can go into the game and see this right now. So we have a, the Rainbow Mon Dungeon is back. This was really, really cool. I, didn't they have an event with it or something, too, last time? They do. It's down below. Ah, perfect. So yeah, I just need to keep scrolling. So here is the event. So that Devil Mon is going to be really nice. You're going to want to make sure you buy that. That's like the main thing to buy out of the shop from uh, what I remember from last one. Yeah, um, last time I think I bought the Devil Mon, all these Rainbow Mons, and I started getting a few of these. But this time, just because of my counts, I recommend you look at your material usage and see what you need. But I'm going to buy this and this, and then I think these. <laughs> it depends uh, if there's more rewards. I'm sure the there is. Too. Maybe just magic essence to I pH. think there was just gold last time for some reason. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah, so that's going to be going on. Uh... Till Galagos till, till Gal runes. Gal runes. Yep. And then also Trial of Ascension's resetting. We knew we knew this was coming. Um, and then there's uh, new improvements and changes. Oh, sorry. There's the, This just is saying the... Summoner Pass for Season 4 is coming. What's really special about this is it's going to be Fire Panda this time. So you give them your $11 or $8 or whatever it is USD and you get your Fire Panda at the end and an extra Devilmon. And yeah, pretty cool. Oh no, you get Fire Panda right away. They usually give him to you the first... Uh, yeah, the very, right as soon as you buy it, they give you Fire Panda and then you get, what, is it 11 pieces? 11 pieces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I have, a weird number. Why is it 11? I have 11 pieces of my Annabelle. <laughs> But yeah, so, and then uh, what's really awesome about this and why I really recommend buying it, guys, if you're playing this game for more than two or three hours a day, and obviously if you can afford it, I highly, highly recommend buying this pass. This obtain two times rewards um, is going to really, really help you get um, the runes that you need, maybe get some subjugation stuff you need. I don't know. I, I think it's, it's really worthwhile. I think it's a good value. And you also get a uh, double... Uh, tokens from the events that require you to do the path of growth and uh, the Karyos dungeons. Which helps you clear out, like, so for right now, uh, I think it's still going on, is the Charlotte one? No, it, it, it just ended. I didn't get my last Charlotte. I was at, like, 17. No. Oh, you got it for me? You must have got it. 
Okay, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so it helps you clear out those those events better. Um, it helps you clear more boards and get more pieces of the monsters that's on those events. So, yeah, I, I think that that is a, a very good value if you have 10 extra bucks that you're spending a month on random stuff anyway. Um, and then the reasons Arena Season Pass is getting reset as well. Um, I personally bought this last month and was a fan. Um, it was my first month buying it last month. I think it's worth it. Yeah, if you want to cry, climb an arena, it's probably the best thing to get. Because you can, the biggest thing for me is you can just reset it every 10 minutes instead of every half an hour. It's huge. And you get double points, too. On your first 100 a week or something like that. Yeah, I think they just changed it to 100 a week or something like that. But uh, so crazy. what you can do is you can set like a one monster defense and then revenge everyone. So they'll take eight points or whatever off you, and you'll get back twenty-four or whatever every win that you get. Yeah, and then once you, you hit, climb by losing, and then once you hit your hundred, then you put your full defense in. Yeah, end of the week or whatever you want to start to hold your rank. But yeah, so those events are ending. All those ones there that I had on the screen while we were chit chatting, and then uh, here's uh, some other package stuff that's ending, and some stuff that they're adding. Right. Three attribute growth. An attribute essence package. Okay. Wait, is that the one that gives you 12? Are they upping it to 3? Is that what's going on? I don't know. That'd be really nice. That'd or be, or oh. is it once for money? True. It would be balling if it... Yeah, it's going to be once for money for sure, too. I, forgot, I didn't even think about that. Oh. Alright, and then uh, next here, so we have uh, log in now and get rewards. Uh, so this is cool so this is going to be what's called a blessing marble so what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to reset your altar blessing so as a free-to-play person or like if you sorry if you're a free-to-play person i'm not free to play um if you are a free-to-play person i highly recommend you sitting on this for a while because i can't really see you clearing out your two resets of altar blessings because that would mean you'd have to pull hypothetically like six nat fives plus you would have to hit that 40 percent nine rate. nat fives yeah, sorry, nine nat fives, and it's only a 40% rate if you get a nat five to get one of your blessings, which is really high, don't get me wrong, but that's still not even 50, so you need to pull like 18 nat fives, 20 nat fives, maybe? Yeah, 28 to 25. That's not going to really happen as a free to play. But what Chetta did say is, let's say you're going for just one monster, right? So let's say you pull your first mystical scroll, your free mystical scroll of the day, boom! There's that Juno you've been waiting for off your blessing. You reset it, your next free scroll tomorrow, boom! There's that Juno again, right? Now, now you don't need any more Juno pieces. Or no, sorry, you need one more Juno piece. But you've already used your two resets. Pop this bad boy, next free summon. Boom. Third Juno. Third day in a row. Your Juno's done. That's going to happen to me. Alright. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's cool that that's coming as well. And then this is kind of just bullshit, but it's uh, just like a quiz event. So remember how I told you guys that this was going to be important? The White Castle to enter the Galagos Ruins? Yeah, I was super salty when I saw this question. I was like, this makes no sense. Um, and then, okay, qu uh, question two here. If you clear a stage in Galagos Ruins, you can get a trace of research, which grants you a beneficial effect during battle. That sounds like true. And I, what, was it uh, a stage or was it a floor? <laughs> but, oh my god, they're not going to... They're not going to... They're not going to trick you with that word. Okay, okay. When, when you clear Galagos runes, you can obtain ancient Galagos coins, which can be exchanged for various items in the Galagos coin shop. True. Okay, then you just hit submit. I'm not going to do this crap on stream because you got to log in and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that those are the correct answers. And blast me in the comments if we're wrong. You have anything, Chenna? This, this event, if you scroll up, to show the reward. Scroll a bit down. There you go. Ooh. And then hopefully 2000... Yo, okay, y'all better go do this, okay? <laughs> I, I need this, okay? So 2,000 people? Okay, that's going to be... That's not a lot of people. That's not very many people. Is it Korea and our server, or is it just our server? Because, like, oof, how many people are going to come it, to this place? It'll quiz? be uh, all the North America servers. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, I want my 200k. Okay, go do this. Please. And then, yeah, when if you use those answers below, then you should get 100,000. If we're wrong, someone's going to blast us in the comments, and it'll be fun. Fun. Losing 100k. 
All right, guys, we appreciate you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always, and we will catch you guys in the next one.